Welcome back to Contextual Electronics. In this video, we're going to be talking about adding keepout areas to the layout, which are useful for a wide range of things when you're doing layouts. <laughs> so let's take a look. Uh, we'll open up the KiCad launcher and open up schematic or layout rather. Going straight into this, you see I have a simple board outline here. Okay, so we've already talked about uh, drawing traces, drawing uh, filled zones or copper pores. And then finally, keeping doing keepout areas is another thing here. So this is a whole separate menu. We want to be on a copper layer, which in this case I have two, two different layers. And then we simply draw a shape. We we'll start to draw a shape rather, because we're going to pick a top a layer. So in this case, it's going to be front side copper, a hatched outline, and then we are going to add no copper pour. And you'll see that here in a second. So we're just going to draw a simple shape. We did a 45 degree angle thing, so we'll actually utilize that. Kind of a wonky shape, but that's okay. And this is adjustable as well by the via, or sorry, the uh, <coughs> grid that I set at 100 mils right now. It's at 100 mil grid. Okay, so uh, we have our keep out area. Now, if we try and draw a trace on the top side layer, we should be able to draw just about anywhere we'd like to. Now if we draw through here though, I'm clicking, clicking, it's actually not letting me put a trace through this area. You see, even when it crosses through just a little tiny bit, it doesn't let me do it. And I'm clicking there a couple times. And that works so I can I'm creating VS here, going all the way around yet still not able to click inside this area. Kind of hard to see, but okay, so that's good. Now what about on the layer below it? So if we switch to layer 4, and then I'm drawing a trace on the bottom copper side, I am able to route it through here. Okay, that's no problem. I'm routing traces, no problem. Now, what about dropping a V? So I hit the V key nothing happens. So vias do not work in that area either. Out here, drop to via, switch to the top side, via again, back to the bottom side. That's not going to work because I'm <laughs> starting to play a game of snake here, but okay. So again, you can run it underneath that trace. Okay. Next up, what if we wanted this layer to extend so that it's the same on the top and the bottom layer? What we can do is we can right click, we can uh, oops, sorry, we need to be on the tool here, the actual keep on tool. And then uh, we have to get near near enough to actually get this context menu going. Find the right one. There we go. Now we have the context menu. You can see we have a couple different things here. So we could drag it around with G, just like our usual hotkey there. Uh, what we're going to do here is actually duplicate the zone. And what we can do is move it to the bottom layer as well. See, there's kind of a crosshatch, so we can see it's both top and bottom layer. So if I hit X to try and draw a trace, now I'm going to click underneath here because it's on the both top and bottom side, and I cannot go through there. All right, so we can also do our usual operations here. If we go back to the keep out, it is dependent on being in the keep out tool. So then if we zoom in, grab the zone, you can see we can actually move that zone. Now, if we want to utilize the same settings, but not necessarily the same shape, we go to add similar zone. We can start drawing here. It's actually, even though I'm on the top side or the bottom side copper there, you see up top of them on layer, four, uh, I guess it didn't change the color, but it did switch to the top side copper for me. So um, it switched to the same settings, and we see it looks relatively similar there. Okay, and then finally, context menu, we can also add cutout areas. So if we started with the square, but then we wanted to cut out some of this, we should be able to have some of this show up. That's not a very good example. Let me try that again. So let's right click, right click, add cutout area. There we go. And now, not into that little house shape. 
and that's great for modifying at a later date. So maybe you want a big, nice big area filled in with these these large grid, and then we can change grid size and make a smaller cutout with maybe more features. So if we right click, keep out area. I'm gonna do cutout. Might not have gotten quite to the edge there. We can get lots of detail here. And, oh, and I just missed it. But you can also do inner inner circles as well. So that really helps you to define uh, more different types of shapes there. And finally, if we mouse over and hit E, like we usually do, we can actually modify the uh, settings. Now you see we do have the copper pores cut out, so we can't uh, utilize those. So if we have top side copper, we, have, we wanted a big pour across the entire top side. Oop, and not, and not connection. Yeah, right, there's no nets here. So that's okay. So we're going to have a big empty copper pour there. We should see that the copper fills in everywhere except the key out areas. And there we go. So now we have copper everywhere except in the keep out areas. So we're, uh, this is the keep out zones. This is great for uh, when you're doing copper pours or when you're trying to make sure that you don't have vias or traces running underneath certain parts of your, com your board, maybe like a heat sink or a large, large component. This is a great way to ensure that kind of thing won't happen. All right, thanks for watching.